Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. As you know, I have been talking about the 2024 Toyota Tacoma, which is a super exciting model to think about. After all, I've owned several different types of Tacoma over the years, including a 2018 Tacoma Sport, a 2019 Tacoma TRD Pro, and most recently a 2021 Tacoma TRD Pro, which I just sold recently because I am purchasing and buying a 2022 Tundra which should be arriving any minute now. So I know a lot about Tacoma and that is why I am super, super excited to talk about the new Tacoma, which is coming out sometime in 2023 as a 2024 model year. If you haven't watched part one of the 2024 Tacoma story yet, please take a look at that one first. I'll put the link below. Before watching this one, which is a part two of the three part series, I'm going to be predicting what the changes will be for the interior of the 2024 Tacoma. There will be a lot of stuff that will be coming through the pipeline for this new generation Tacoma, and I'm going to take you step by step by walking through the interior of the Tacoma in terms of the dash, in terms of the controls and the features, the seating mechanism, the interior roominess, everything I can think of, I'm going to go through with you. So please watch the entire video so that you will have all the insight you need to understand what the 2024 Tacoma is going to be like in terms of interior. Once you finish watching this video, then please stay tuned for part three of the 2024 Tacoma series, which will cover powertrain, specifically engine, transmission, suspension, and all of the mechanical features to do with upcoming 2024 Tacoma. So without further ado, let me take you into the interior of the Tacoma and tell you everything I know and all of the insight you need to know about the 2024 Tacoma's interior. So now I'm inside my 2021 Tacoma TRD Pro and I'm going to try to show you what kind of changes I think would be happening for the new 2024 Tacoma which is going to be the next generation. Would there be sufficient changes that will give us uh, excitement for the new model? Well let me walk you through everything from the steering, the instrumentation, infotainment system to the interior to try to take you through this journey toward the 2024 Tacoma transformation. So let me walk you through some of my predictions. So here we are inside the Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro, which I do really enjoy. And even though it's a very much a simple design, I think it's proven well over time. There's nothing wrong with simplicity. And this is the strength of uh, Toyota trucks and Toyota products is that it doesn't necessarily try to be like uh, super fancy. But instead, it provides all of the proven and reliable components, and you know that it's going to continue to work well for many years to come. So I really like the fact that uh, it's very proven and very simple to use in this current Tacoma with big large buttons and, well, kind of a mediocre infotainment system. So what would change for the new generation 24 Tacoma? Well, lots of things. Let's start from the driver's steering and move along here. Uh, so first of all, this will change to mimic what we have in the new Tundra, which is all new for 2022. So some of these buttons and switches will all change. This is the old generation design for uh, Toyota steering. And so we'll get more features squeezed into here, more features squeezed into here. Although to be honest, I like the simplicity of what we have right here, uh, but the Tundra has more uh, capability. So that's going to obviously happen. And uh, because these switches are a little bit cumbersome right now, the steering side is going to remain about the same. There's no need to change that. I still like the little bump on uh, here. That works really well. And I like the thick steering, which I hope they will not change because sometimes Toyota makes the steering a little bit thinner as they migrate to a newer model. But uh, this thickness, at least on the TRD Pro, is perfect for me. Now, uh, in terms of switches and button, don't expect much change in terms of door. But it will look a little bit more modern here. Uh, this is a really, really old looking design. Again, nothing wrong with it. Uh, but uh, the new design should have a more modern uh, design all along here, much like what we're seeing now 
Tundra, and then uh, the whole dash would uh, change. Now, if you look at the new Tundra, you will notice that they didn't go into ridiculously fancy, super futuristic design, which I'm very thankful for. Instead, they kind of focused on what makes customer happy. And uh, while upgrading the interior, they also maintain some of the existing traditional look and feel. So first of all, the biggest change is going to be in the center stack here. Much like in Tundra, this will get uh, much larger. I would suspect on the flagship uh, Tacoma, it should uh, migrate to a 14 inch infotainment system, which is what we have in the new Tundra. And so that will be a really, really nice change because this is too small and also the software is really outdated. It's just uh, not enough features and the capability is kind of a joke right now, actually. But if you look at the new Tundra, uh, um, it has so much more functionality and it's a new software designed by uh, Toyota Connected in uh, North America. So it's designed by North American Toyota engineers for North American customers. So the entire infotainment system and the navigation of it is so much easier. He has a lot more functionality and it's also more practical. And so that's what we will get in the Tacoma and uh, likely a large 14 inch one for the flagship model and then probably smaller 12 inch for the midsize model and maybe even a smaller nine inch one for the basic model. But either way, the infotainment system is going to be a huge upgrade. It's going to have a lot more features and it's going to be faster because it will have a much faster processor and chip inside as well so that's the biggest change now in the tundra these event also changed a lot it's kind of like a, a slot design on both left and right side perhaps we will see a similar trend for the tacoma as well with a more of an angular design as opposed to a circular design that we are seeing now, I think you will move toward that kind of a triangle or slash uh, angular design in the new Tacoma. Uh, I hope and I really pray that they are going to keep all the buttons that we have like this, including the buttons for the like knob and so forth. Although I would say these knobs are a little bit small right now uh, because um, if you move away from buttons, it's just so cumbersome like how we see it in the flagship Toyota Venza, they removed most of the buttons and it's really, really awkward to use. So uh, right now we have the start button, we have the um, control for the two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive, temperature control, a fan speed, uh, and then temperature control for the passenger. So everything is really analog, not so digital. So it's really easy to see and feel. Uh, and I can um, manage this. The passenger can also manage this. So I'm really hoping they're going to keep this type of design. But my suspicion though for the 2024 is that the design will change because the Tundra and the Land Cruiser, which is not sold here, has kind of rows of uh, buttons instead of these dials. What else? Well, hopefully we will get more USB because we only have one USB connection here and one in the center console, of course, uh, but it's really, really not sufficient and we don't get USB-C which should obviously become standard on a new Tacoma. Uh, and then otherwise we do have the wireless charger, which I'm sure will stay. And we got some cubby holes and cup holders. All these are fine. It's sufficiently uh, well designed right now. I would expect this to get bigger and this area will change quite a bit. Well, this is like a cup holder, but this is just for uh, carrying coins and changes. And this whole section is a little bit awkward. This is just an Amazon aftermarket stuff that I put in so I can put additional stuff in here. And then in the center console, I also have Amazon tray so that I can put more stuff underneath and on top as well. So it's fully equipped right now with a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, it's big enough right now, but I really do hope they give us a bigger uh, storage for the center console. We're not going to get something as big as a Tundra, but this is a little bit small for me. Well, what else? Well, the seat design in terms of the current Tacoma are basically the same across its entire lineup. We just get more fancy stitching and so forth. And this TRD Pro logo in the case of the truck I have. But in the new truck, I really do hope that they change the actual basic seat design. Because just like the old Tundra, this seat is too flat. Although we have sufficient side support, I find this part of the seat to be a little bit flat. And also, it's a little bit low. That's one of the complaints we have of all Tacomas, both on the driver's side and the passenger side. The seat's a little bit low. And even though we now have par seats since the 2020, uh, it is still not high enough. And I find it to be always a little bit awkward sitting on the Tacoma. So they should change the seat in terms of design, make it a little bit more supportive, raise the whole seat a little bit both sides, and give us a little bit more control in terms of how the seats are adjusted. So those are my wish list for 2024. 
Uh, otherwise, you know, the view up front is very good. Uh, it does sit a little bit high here, but that's on purpose to make you feel like you're in a truck. And the overall view front and side and the rear are all pretty good. Uh, there should be a big change though coming up over here on the roof because this is really small in terms of the uh, size of the moon roof. And the new Tundra has a big, big roof that goes all the way to the back. So maybe we cannot get it as big because Tacoma is a smaller truck, but we should get a much larger roof on the next gen Tacoma for sure. This is just way too small right now. Now on the ceiling here, I have a whole bunch of control for a variety of different things to do with off-roading in terms of curl control and uh, putting the uh, differential into lock mode, that kind of stuff. These should stay. I actually don't think there's anything wrong with the design, but I suppose they will clean up a little bit here. And some of these things like the curl control will likely move to the bottom here because that's what they did with uh, Tundra. So maybe the off-roading uh, control and management will move down to the center console area. What else would change inside? Well, this rear view mirror will be at least available with a digital format. So if you like the digital mirrors that provide much better view at the back, well, you should be able to get it in the flagship Tacoma at that point. And uh, maybe even on the lower trim levels, you might be able to get it as an option. The main advantage is that um, you can see a lot more with no obstruction, of course, but some people just cannot get used to the digital version. So uh, that is something you have to think, but you don't need to worry. Even if the Tacoma you buy end up having that feature, you can turn it off. So there's always a switch that will allow you to use it like a conventional mirror. So those are some of the changes I expect on the inside. I think uh, maybe just following the Tundra's format, they might come up with something more fancy now. They might even give us a little bit more of a luxurious feel just to move the entire Tacoma a little bit more upscale and to able to uh, compete with some of the newer trucks from its competitors. I don't think we're going to lose this actual shifter here, which is great news because the Tundra kept the uh, manual shifting. Uh, so uh, we should be able to see something like this again because I don't like this push button type that we are seeing in other manufacturer or rotary dial. Uh, those are not very conducive to the type of uh, trucking that we do with uh, this type of truck. So that should be kept the way it is. And then also we might get some really upscale features like head up display on the front that probably will be offered as an uh, option or a standard equipment on the very upscale model. That would be a huge change for Tacoma. And then finally in the center uh, instrument cluster here, this is really basic. We do get some information in the center here, but it's a very, very old system. So we should uh, have two options. One is analog with uh, some information in the center here, uh, as well as a fully digital version which is what we see in many of the upscale and the flagship Toyota products now. So we should get both types in the new generation Tacoma. Now, I really do hope that they will improve the rear design because right now the biggest issue for the rear passenger is that this is just too small. It sits pretty low to begin with, but the space here in terms of legroom is not very good. It's not sufficient for taller people. The headroom is okay. It's not an issue. But definitely the legroom is an issue. So the new generation Tacoma must give us a little bit more space by increasing the cab size here and moving this back a little bit, allowing this seat to maybe tilt even more because right now it's very vertical and giving us a little bit more legroom and also a little bit more hip room here. I think that's one challenge with the current Tacoma that I hope will be improved and it has to be improved for the new Tacoma coming up. So this concludes part two of the three-part series covering the interior of the 2024 Tacoma. And then we're going to now cover part three, which talks about powertrain, including engine and transmission and suspension. And that video is coming up very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'm signing off for now.